Being blind in prison is like permanent segregated housing. I would trip. A dark, lonely place. When you're in prison and you let everybody in prison know that you're blind and you can't see, you would get taken advantage of. Prison has been a revolving door for Robert Rivard since 1990. He could never escape the powerful grip of drugs. But I'm not looking at my past, I'm looking at my future. Robert's future does look brighter, thanks to a chance encounter with a prison volunteer. Yeah, they were milky looking like a blind person's eyes. I mean, it was obvious looking at him that he was blind. Robert was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa, a rare degenerative eye disease that causes severe visual impairment, a condition with no cure. If you took a couple of rows of toilet paper and looked at them, that's how I seen. I, could, I had no peripheral vision at all. Robin Brothers has been a Christian for 29 years, studied divine healing. By the power of the signs and the wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God. And was led to pray. The thick fog enveloping his vision would be lifted. Immediately when she started praying for me, she said, Lord Jesus, we come to you right now and I lift up this man and I asked you to restore his sight. Robert noticed immediately his sight was improving. And on the third day, I finally had to say, oh my God, I can see better. My eyes are getting better. I don't want to die in prison. And he is eager to share the good news with anyone who will listen. Warden, I need to show you something. He said, okay, so he takes me out front and I zig this way through a car and zig that way through around another car and come around another car and run down there and jump over the flower bed and, and run up to him. And I said, man, I can see. I can see. He has 20-25 vision now. You're kidding. Wow. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God because it was about time for me to get a new one. Robert no longer needs that walking stick that made him feel vulnerable. If they will let me, I would like to give this to you. Um, and you could give it to her for me. And let her know that uh, I thank her. Robert asked me to give this to you and says he doesn't need it ever again. Wow, really? Well, praise God. He now works in the prison garden. Guess what? I got my feet right now. Praise God. But Robert believes his real calling is full-time ministry. Jesus said we are to be fishers of men. So I just want to glorify God and, and give him all the praise, honor, and glory. Wow, the power of prayer. 29 11. Amen. Amen. That's right. Miracles happen. Yeah. God uh, uh, takes us, He breaks us, and then He uses us to multiply His kingdom. Robert Rivard was blind, but now he sees.